Hello guys, welcome to Base Watches. If you're buying a new watch, be it your first or your 15th, it'd be good to know what the best watches on offer are, right? Because the sheer volume of choice is insane. With that in mind, we've done the hard work for you, compiling the hottest watch releases as they happen in one risky place. You'll find everything from classic dress watches and divers to everyday field watches and sporty chronographs, those that cost a small fortune and those that are perfectly affordable. Whatever your taste, style, or budget, we're hopeful you'll find a watch that you really rate. Go get amongst, these are the best watches we recommend adding to your collection. The Citizen Promaster Orca is a highly regarded dive watch produced by Citizen, a well-known Japanese watch manufacturer known for its precision and durability. The Promaster Orca is celebrated for its robust design, exceptional water resistance, and practical features designed for diving enthusiasts. On paper, the Citizen Promaster Dive Orca sounds larger than it wears. It measures 46 mm wide and about 14.6 mm thick, but it has a modest lug to lug distance of about 49.3 mm with lugs at curve around your wrist and sit low on the case. That makes the Orca wear very comfortably, even on smaller wrists. The Japanese are very adept at making watches that are large in size that feel nice on your wrist and are not oversized, in my opinion. The brushed steel case is water-resistant to 200 meters and has a large unidirectional rotating bezel. Over the dial is a domed mineral crystal, which is one of the very few things I wish was an upgraded part of the Acra. Inside the Promaster Dive Orca watch is a citizen-made EcoDrive light-powered quartz movement. The last-generation Orca watches had an EcoDrive, and it makes sense that the new ones have it as well. The quartz movement displays the time as well as indicating the date via a window at the 3 o'clock position on the face. In conclusion, the Citizen Promaster Orca is a robust and reliable dive watch designed for individuals who engage in diving and water-related activities. Whether you're an avid diver or simply appreciate a durable and functional timepiece. The Big Crown Pointer Date is a signature piece for Oris, and it is a consumer favorite, with numerous options and colors to satisfy the demand. There are references in steel and bronze in 36, 38, and 40 mm cases, with metal bracelets and leather straps with burgundy, green, blue, brown, black, and gray dials. The Oris Walden Burgerbund Edition is a watch in a stainless steel case, 40 mm in diameter, with a domed sapphire crystal. The dial is black with large Arabic numerals, minutes railway track, and all other inscriptions in white. The only bright element is the red tip of the central hand that points to the date. The bezel is fluted, a standard feature. It would have been nice to have it produced to recall the 1938 model. A dark brown sustainable deer leather strap with a quick strap change system by Servo Volante, Oris's partner, completes the look of this limited edition Oris. The case back is engraved with a steam locomotive once running the Waldenberger bone, and there is a limited edition number. The movement that drives the Oris Waldenberger bone is the automatic caliber 754, used across the collection since long ago. It has 38 hours of power reserve. In conclusion, the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date Waldenberger bone is a special edition watch that combines vintage-inspired design elements with a distinctive pointer date function. The latest Longin model to take on this new, more compact design philosophy is the Spirit Zulu Time, originally released at 42mm wide in 2022. Armed with a sleeker, more balanced silhouette that better reflects its vintage-inspired styling, the new Longin Spirit Zulu Time 39mm delivers an impressively versatile blend of quality, performance, and style that makes it one of the most compelling GMT options available. At a full 3mm smaller in diameter than its stablemate, the Longin Spirit Zulu Time 39mm's case offers a dramatically different wearing experience on the wrist. Although the overall shape of the Zulu Time is relatively standard sports watch fare, the operative word that comes to mind when discussing this case is sharp. Every facet, from the continuous polished case side chamfer and the tightly packaged case sides to the angular tapering lug profile feels exceptionally crisp, as if it was all carved via laser. The considerable 13.5mm overall thickness does make this case sit more prominently on the wrist than some of its contemporaries, but Longin divides this thickness reasonably between the case back, mid-case, and a coin-edge rotating bezel. 
These two-toned gold elements add to the sense of luxurious vintage warmth prevalent throughout the design and complement the gilt dial smartly. Longin also leans further into this golden warmth with a gilt 24-hour scale for the glossy black ceramic bezel insert. For those who prefer a bit less flash, however, the Spirit Zulu Time 39mm is also available with a full stainless steel case. Since its original issue in 1967, the Certina DSP 200M has definitely been eating its Wheaties. The case width increased from about 40 mm in the 1967 edition to just a hair under 43 mm, with a lug to lug distance around 52 mm. I have a fairly large wrist at around 7.75 inches, so this is no big deal, but those with more modest wrist sizes should be aware that this is a substantial piece of steel on the wrist. That said, the watch case without the bezel is a little bit smaller and the lugs do curve ever so slightly downward which should make it fairly comfortable to wear on smaller wrists. Case height is about 14.5mm, with maybe 2mm of that going to the domed box crystal. Under the hood the DSPH200M is powered by the Powermatic 80 movement, a modern Swatch Group workhorse that's essentially a standard ETA slowed down to 21,000, 600 beats per hour to allow for a very healthy 80-hour power reserve. As far as I can tell, this is more of a bog-standard Powermatic 80 living inside a little rubber DS cushion. But it's still a great movement that has gained something approaching ubiquity, and should thus be fairly economical to repair over time. The movement has a quickset D and offers hacking and reasonably smooth hand winding. The Certina Diespige 200M is a dive watch that effortlessly combines classic aesthetics with robust functionality making it an excellent choice for both divers and watch enthusiasts. At 39mm wide, the stainless steel case of the Tissot Kemen des Sorels is light and manageable on the wrist, but the clean and simple dress watch silhouette belies a deceptive amount of visual depth. The operative word here is slender, from the narrow rounded polished bezel to the short, tapering attached lugs. The overall layout is designed to be as slim and dial forward as possible, but the case sides take this visual slimming impulse to new levels. While the central case band offers a sharp vertically brushed finish, this is abruptly interrupted by a drastic case side undercut, sloping from the center line of the signed crown directly into the Cephir display case back. Not only does this trim a substantial amount of visual weight off the case sides, giving the illusion of a slimmer case profile, but these sloping polished sides also minimize the case's already small footprint on the wrist for a lightweight, compact wearing experience. Topside, the Kemen des Tyrells accentuates its all dial look with a gently domed sapphire crystal, which softens and refines the overall form as well. Tist also offers impressively detailed finishing for this price point, with small touches like polished bevels, where the attached lugs meet the case, adding a real sense of quality throughout. In keeping with the dressy aesthetics, the Tissot Kemen des Tyrells is not a particularly rugged watch with a middling water resistance of 50 meters. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I will see you guys later.